Most people think of tropical waters and brightly colored fishes when they hear the word coral. However, there are thousands of coral species living much deeper than these shallow water inhabitants. The range of shallow water corals is inhibited due to their relationship with algae called zooxanthellae. Shallow water corals have formed this relationship with the algae in order to gain nutrients. Deep water corals, however, don't have this relationship and instead catch all their own food. Like shallow water coral, the basic form of the deep water coral is a polyp. A polyp looks kind of like a super tiny anemone, or George. They catch planktonic organisms and debris on their outstretched tentacles, which is then transported to the mouth and consumed. In shallow water coral, hundreds to thousands of polyps gather together to form a colony organism. And all these colony organisms gathered in a similar place are referred to as a coral reef. Deep sea corals may also form reefs and colony organisms, but they're also known to live completely solitary. Deep water corals are also known as cold water corals, and some species have been found living in water as cold as negative one degree Celsius. These organisms range from 150 to more than 10,000 feet below the ocean's surface. In fact, one species was observed from depths deeper than the height of Mount Kilimanjaro. Deep sea coral can be found on continental shelves, slopes, canyons, and underwater mountains. In turn, cold water corals provide habitat for all kinds of other sea life living below the line through which light can't penetrate the ocean's surface. These inhabitants include multiple species of crustaceans and fish. Deepwater corals are found all throughout the world. However, the full extent of their range is largely unknown, as the seafloor is one of the least explored places on Earth. In size, cold water corals range from as small as a grain of rice to colonies that reach more than 33 feet high and reefs that span 25 miles. They come in all kinds of colors, which seems a bit odd since many of them live where light doesn't even penetrate, so they can't be seen. They also form in many shapes, from fanned to branched to columned to feathered. Threats to deepwater corals are mostly anthropogenic, or human in nature, and include deepwater trawling, which has been banned in some areas deepwater reefs are known to live, as well as ocean acidification. Damage done to these animals takes centuries to undo as they are quite slow growing, only maxing out at an inch of growth per year. If they remain undisturbed, however, some are estimated to live thousands of years. For more facts on deep corals, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Alfie for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.